We started with the developing of the Namibian National Bioeconomy Strategy around 2019, of which we really, the engagement, we got an assistance from uh, the Food and Agriculture Organization, which assisted us, especially in the technical component developing part of it, and also part of the financial assistance. Uh, the first development was really initially to have a creating awareness of which uh, going to different local authorities and levels uh, of uh, local communities so that we can introduce the concept of what does bioeconomy means, you know, at the local context. But initially also we did stock taking of what is existing, what had been existing in, term, in terms of policies in the Namibian context in alignment to the activities or aspiration of uh, the FAO guidelines. So we did a stock taking um, report that completed in 2019. Now after that, then we, we set up the possible outcome, which include the vision and mission of the economy strategy of Namibia. But we went to local communities then and they provide really what should be included the national bioeconomy strategy of Namibia. Uh, to be implemented, for example, between 2023 up to 2028. So at the moment, we completed that process and the Minister of Higher Education, Technology and Innovation is a custodian of that bioeconomic strategy. And also we have aligned it to our national development plans, uh, which include our Vision 2030 and uh, also other national development plans or, or programs. Bioeconomic concept started around the 2015 GBS conference in, in Berlin. And obviously coming to local communities, for example, in Namibia, we had 13 indigenous local languages and also local communities have been very difficult. Um, number one, explaining what the context is um, and also interpreting in those local languages. But what we did is explaining really but what could be the benefit or what the definition of bioeconomy is in terms of the activities that are currently taking place and how can they leapfrog or benefit in terms of economic, social economic upliftment of these communities. For example, one of our indigenous sector, which is a Maroro sector, this is a, a Secretario Birai, which is a tree that bears fruit uh, and used, so it has so many offsets. And it's be used, for example, uh, there are kennels used for oils, which is used in food. And the second one is also used in cosmetics. The shells for them can be also used for fire, for fire, which is biofuel component. And I mean, the, the outside shell can also be used for animal feed. So you can see the security or benefit from thereof. But in terms of the sustainability, I think uh, we explain to communities that once you use this sustainably, and you, you put it in a formal sector, you'll be able to benefit. 